Hey guys, today we're uh, taking apart an HP DeskJet 1055. The purpose of this video is just to show you, kind of to get into the printer. Um, maybe there's something stuck in there or you just wanna repair a certain part. So just stay with us. And we'll try to show you the uh, easiest way to get to a certain part or remove it. So we're, we're gonna start with the basic parts such as um, the trays here. Um, you're just gonna push this way without trying to break it trying to do everything as carefully as possible and that um, paper input tray comes out but the paper output tray or the front door um, it's kind of the same process we're going to press in the middle right here and uh, push it to this side actually I was able to just push it to the right and that comes out this comes out and then when you are replacing it make sure this tab right here slides back into here that um, is there for some purpose I'm not sure what exactly it is though um, we'll get to this one a little bit later so the top cover uh, we're gonna press here in the middle and that will allow us to um, push it to the side so you guys kind of have to have it partially closed Let's see here kind of push it actually we're gonna have to unscrew these in order to pull this top portion off so we're gonna get to that um, uh, we're gonna use a t10 star shaped the uh, torque screw uh, tip as most of the uh, HP printer are gonna use that so we're gonna go ahead and remove that here make sure you can see everything so another screw right over here so now we need to remove the control panel uh, it just pulls up right here you can use a flathead screwdriver got that side up it's not screwed in or anything so it's just clipped in there, there we go. to avoid breaking anything so I did break this tab but it comes out this way um, so and then you need to disconnect it right here and this is the control panel for the jet 1055 then we're, we need to remove these screws here. <clears throat> and that allows us to lift the whole printer up. Be careful with this cord here. So this is where the scanner is connected. So disconnect that. And our top cover is off now. To get to the inside of the scanner, to get to the scanner lamp right here um, there's clips around like here there's a clip right here I believe there should be more unless it's glued <clears throat> there we go oops so that was pretty simple this is the scanner lamp I'm gonna Attach ours. You can disconnect it right here, and we'll just do that. Like so, there you go. That's the scanner lamp for this printer. the wire so if you need to clean on the inside of the glass that's how you get in there um, and then <clears throat> to remove this one at this point it's easy just lift it and you pull it down 
get those out. So this is the inside of the printer. You have the timing strip right here. You have the carriage unit right here. This is the main board for the printer and these are the rollers. So let's see what we can remove. Timing strip removes easy. It's um, like this here. And then when you reinstall it, make sure you put it in the right way. It's no big deal if you flip it over upside down, it's fine. But this this uh, right and left side cannot be different. So, But I would just put it in the way it is put in at the factory. So the arrow goes up. And on the right side, if you're looking at the printer and the dot with the part number is on the left side. So it attaches to this hook right here and then the spring, you can just remove it like that. So, and then it feeds through the back of the carriage unit and when you uh, install it back in, make sure you feed it in there correctly. We're gonna remove the main board. First, I'd like to disconnect everything. And you shouldn't have a problem knowing where it goes. It basically, all of them are unique. So, all of the connections, I mean. So you shouldn't have a problem connecting a cord in the wrong place. There's one right here. One more screw right here. So three screws that hold this board in place. It has the power supply connection right there. And the rest of the stuff here. And let's remove this little board here. Those are sensors. So I've never removed this. Um, roller and I'm not even sure if it's removable at this point but um, this is the bottom of the printer so I mean if you go further I guess you can remove everything but it's just a matter of is it worth going far to repair a certain part um, so this has the swipe brush here, the rubber brush for the cartridge to clean the cartridges. This just pushes out as the front door. I was able to push it one side and pull out. Can't really pull out the other side. because it's connected into this. So So basically we're not going to go any further. It's simple. At this point, you can just find whatever's in the way. You can clean the timing strip if that's giving you a problem or paper jam. You can see if there's any paper stuck in there by just removing the four screws on top and uh getting into the printer so hopefully this was able i was able to help you with this one this is the rollers that i show how to clean in the other video so if you want to do it this way where you just get into the printer and just clean them that's the way to do it um if you're having a problem with some connection make sure everything is connected to the board uh so it's it's kind of straightforward from here it's what we can get to is accessible just by removing the four screws on top so thank you guys for watching i hope this was helpful for you in some way or entertaining please like this vi video share it and subscribe with uh, subscribe to our channel have a wonderful day thank you